Well, today we're talking about the state of our states. For a long time, we've been the boom state of Australia. That reputation, though, seems to be slipping, particularly on the employment front, as many turn their backs on WA. But experts say if you really want a job, you will get one. Boom state. Resource rich and the ideal place to live. There are still jobs here, but the mining construction boom that drove the economy, wages, rents and real estate prices for years is now pretty much over. Experts say WA mining has moved to the production phase and that means the demand for jobs isn't as hot as it was two years ago. British expat Callum McLeod came to WA thinking it was a jobs hotspot but left after 18 months trying to land one. I uh, struggled for a year and a half basically to uh, got contract work here and there but I, I struggled to get work. It was very difficult. He eventually found what he was looking for in Queensland. The fact that I went to Western Australia and there was nothing there, it was a little bit annoying, but I mean, not the end of the world because I moved to another state and got a job there. It's still good here. WA still has the lowest unemployment rate in the nation. Queensland not far behind us, but it's not all about mining. Professional people with good skills and experience will find a job, um, but certainly competition is heating up for those jobs. Chris Kent is a leading recruitment manager. He says WA is in the midst of an industry shift. If you're looking in the construction industry, a trade or in niche areas of mining like geology, it could prove to be difficult, even on the back of big ticket infrastructure projects in Perth. But if you're looking for a career change to the finance sector, Chris says there are plenty of opportunities. Architecture, residential property, um, professional services, accountancy and finance, legal practices, even banking um, have certainly improved a lot in, in recent months. Chris Ken also says employers are no longer shying away from permanent positions. A job freeze by the state government was lifted at the start of the month with 828 jobs back on offer in the public sector. The big companies will have already done uh, their restructures and they're now looking at, OK, where do we add back in? As for the divide between men and women, West Aussie men are still far better off on average. They take home $412.90 more a week. Scott Cunningham, Today Perth News.